Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevtech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um, how can you get a job doing Service Desk. What is Service Desk? Service Desk is level 2 support tier 2. So there are different levels of support. So there's help desk, there's IT support, there's IT support specialist, there's different types. You know, there's different types of titles, but basically uh, think of service desk as like level two. So there's help desk and then there's service desk. This is a tier higher. So you're doing much more than, than what you think. Um, obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos and that stuff. So poor videos tell about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you know when I go live, okay? Greatly appreciate it. So today I want to answer this question. So how do you get a job for service desk? That's, 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 the, that's the question I was asked by a bunch of people. And then the second question is, how do you get into a level two position when you already have a job in help desk? So because I got an email from someone, they asked me that question, and I'll, probably, I'll put a screenshot here so you can see it. Uh, hey Kev, I hope you're doing well. I'm, watch, I'm reaching out to you guys. I enjoy watching your videos. I appreciate all the work you do to help those that are trying to get a foot in the door. Due to your jobs, I've been able to land a job as Tier 1 support. Good job. I'm trying to work my way up to Tier 2 now. I'm working. I'm wondering if you have any suggestions as far as my resume goes. I know I have a lot included in my current resume, but I do not want to lack anything that may help me land a better job. Your help will be greatly appreciated. So. When I saw that email, I'm like, let me. I, I did. I did reply to him in an email. I also wanted to make a video, so I'm like, let me make a video on this because this actually is a very, very good question because you already have a job. So how do you, how do you jump from help desk to service desk or like tier two? How do you do that? So for anyone that's new or don't know anything, just 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 keep in mind that service desk is a little more advanced. It's not your typical help desk. So help desk is more like password reset, unlocking accounts. You might be talk, maybe touching Office 365. You may not. You may just be resetting passwords all day if you're doing help desk. So it really depends where you work, if that makes sense. But service desk is more advanced. So service desk is like a lot more advanced. So you have to understand that I'm going based on my location. So that's why I have location over here. And it's, you know, it has an asterisk on it because everywhere you go is different. So it really depends where you work. It depends where you live. It depends on a lot of different things because Every state is different. Every country is different. So when you're applying for these level two jobs or like service desk, when you're using like Indeed or Dice, for example, you need to understand that it's different everywhere you go because the applications or software that I'm using may not be the same if you're in Europe or if you're in another state or another country. It, it, it may vary. It varies from state to state. So I'm just going to give you an example of service desk for level two in New York, if that makes sense. So if you're doing service desk in New York, I'm just giving you a hypothetical example. This is actually a real example. You need to know Cisco, you need to know Pablo also. You may need to know SSCM. That's that's just where I live. I live from, from New York. You have to know Zen app servers. So you have to know how to close an application. You may have to know where you get calls like, oh, I can't launch an application. So you go on the back end, you log into that server, you close that application uh, from the Zen app server. You may have to know MDM. MDM is mobile device management. So you may have to know how to handle like I said before, I had to handle handheld devices in my other video where you basically, you're either publishing, uh, you're publishing the, the MDM on the person's phone and then basically you have access to the phone, you can wipe their phone, you can reinstall the phone, you can reset their pen, stuff like that. That service does kind of level two support in, in my environment where, I, where I'm from in New York. Um, they have VMware as well and Exchange. So if you know how to do Exchange, and I'm not talking about like just creating a mailbox, I'm talking about like creating a distribution group, you may have to go in there and you may have to make some changes on the back end. So things like that. So this is not your ordinary like tier two support. So tier two support, you may have to know about SSEM, how to deploy packages, how to how to how to create an image. Um, it's not just it's not just pressing F12 and going into the BIOS. You know, you're doing more than that. You're basically remoting into someone's computer. You may be creating packages of software applications like Adobe, uh, Google Chrome, um, Anything that the company uses or they need, you may be creating these packages for them. So that's basically what it is for service desk tier two. Hopefully that makes sense. Obviously help desk, it depends where you work because you may be doing re password reset. You may just be doing Office 365. You may not be doing any of those two things. You may be just maintaining someone's computer. You know, it dep depends where you work. So uh, to answer his question, basically if you want to get into service desk um, level two, First of all, you need to find out in your current job 
uh, what applications they're using and what applications you need to get familiarized if you want to do service, service desk or tier two. So I would figure that out first, talk to your manager, talk to your coworker, talk to someone in that department, figure out how they got that level two position or what you need to know and have in order to have that level two position or get into that level two position. So obviously at, at, at that point, you have to talk to your, to, your, to your manager or your coworker or someone in your department. And if they don't have that position available, then that's when you would go to Indeed or Dice, search online for service desk for your location where you live, and then figure out what applications you need to know, whether it's SSEM, Zen App Servers, VMware, um, Cisco Call Managers, I put Cisco over here, a bunch of different things. So it depends where you work, obviously. So you have to do your research first by going to the websites and just figuring out what you need to know, if that makes sense, in your local area. So for someone that's brand new, like now I'm gonna answer the people that are brand new, right? So the people that are brand new, um, if you're trying to get a job at Service Desk, tier two, and you're brand new, yes, you could get a job as tier two. I have a bunch of people that got a job as tier two. So you don't wanna do help desk, because there are people that don't like to do help desk. If you wanna do work more with vendors, work more with SSEM, work more with deploying applications, work more with MDM, work more with exchange server stuff, and you wanna land a tier two job, you could definitely land that, and that's only done by labs. So you have to know how to do, you have to know how to create your own lab. You have to be familiarized with those applications. So for someone that's brand new, that wants to jump help desk and go into service desk, and wanna just be targeted towards level two support, because I could, you know, I, ha I have people that ask me like, how do you skip help desk and go to level two? Because level two actually pays more money, actually. And level two, it requires you to know more, more stuff. So how do you get into that position? You have to actually understand the applications that they use in your, in your area where you live. So if they're asking for SSEM, you have to know how to use SSEM. If they're asking for Avanti, you have to know how to use Avanti. If they're asking for Nurt and Ghost, you need to know how to do that. If you're asking for Arcturus, you need to know how to do that. If they're asking for any of these applications for Service Desk in your area, these specific applications, then I suggest you make your own lab familiarize with that application. Once you get enough enough experience and you feel like you could talk about it in a job interview, then I would add it in my resume. Then I start applying for service desk positions, level two positions instead of help desk, if that makes sense. So you could you could go ahead and, and um, I'll tell you, you could go ahead and be tier two support if you're brand new to IT, but it also depends on your resume. It depends how you market yourself. It depends if you manage to learn these applications that are, that's a requirement of that job that you're applying for in that area that you're in, if that makes sense. So you could definitely do that. We have people in my Discord that have landed a job doing tier two support without knowing anything about help desk and they just got into tier two because they learned the backend applications on their own, creating their own virtual labs. So you're putting server 2016, server 2019, uh, SSEM, getting getting a, thir a 30 day license for office 365 admin enterprise you know things like that like those are the things that you would do if you're trying to land a level 2 job and obviously a level 2 job they, they deal more with vendors they're 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 constantly um, creating these back end images creating these applications uh, deploying these applications they're also dealing with with changes they have to make on a computer on the windows updates it's more it's more than your regular help desk. It's not your it's not your ordinary help desk. So service desk does a lot more than help desk, and it's actually it's actually quite fun because that's pretty much what I do actually, because you actually are more involved with vendors. You're more involved with different applications. You're more you're constantly in a lot of different meetings. You're working with different projects. You're working with migrations. You're working with with upgrading ser servers, upgrading certain systems with your sysadmin, with your network admin. So usually the person has a service desk. They're typically very involved with the infrastructure team. They're working with infrastructure team as opposed to just doing help desk and you know resetting passwords all day. You wouldn't be doing that as service desk. You'd be doing a lot more than that. So that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, I hope this answers your question uh, for the person that emailed me, and I hope this answers your questions for everyone else. Yes, you could get a level two job if you're brand new to IT. That is possible. Like I said, it's all about your resume. It's all about how you market yourself, and it's all about figuring out what you need to learn and know in your local area. So that's why I put a location and I put a star next to it because it depends where you live. Because what I'm, I'm going over all this stuff, but it probably it's different where you live. It really depends on your location. Your location may not be hiring for services. It may be hiring just for help desk only. I don't know. It depends where you work. It depends where you live. So 
really depends on your location, but you could definitely get a level two position. All you gotta do is just master the applications and know how they work, know how they're used in a job environment, know how they're utilized in a job environment. And that's pretty much it for, for this video. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. Um, I hope this helps somebody out that's brand new to IT. I hope this helps somebody out that already has a help desk position. I hope this helps somebody out that maybe I had a question about this. With that being said, the comments down below. You guys already know. Let me know. Hopefully this helps you out. And um, if you're brand new, I recommend getting into service. I, it's actually quite fun, actually. You're not just doing password research. I like service desk. I don't know about anyone else. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, hope you guys have a great Saturday. Peace. Later. Bye.